Hello, I'm Dr. Katie Dunleavy, class of 2018, Graduate Entry Medicine Program. My name is Dr. Philip O'Halloran. I'm a graduate of the medical class of 2008. My name is Taylor Cunningham, and I just recently graduated from RCSI. Hello, Patrick is my name. I'm from Dublin in Ireland, and I graduated RCSI in 2019. Hello, everyone. My name is Dr. Hamdan al I'm a first year internal medicine resident at the Cleveland Clinic Abu Dhabi. I decided to study medicine because I love patient stories. As an opera singer in college, I perform stories of my characters on stage. And now as a doctor, I have the privilege of sharing my patient's voice and advocating for their needs every single day. I chose to study at RCSI, the country I was born in, because I wanted a rich foundation of medicine at a top European institution. I knew I needed strong physical examination skills, and I wanted to study in a public health care system. I chose to study medicine in the College of Surgeons uh, for a number of reasons. Uh, firstly, the diversity, the inclusiveness of the university in a unique setting off Stevens Green in the, in the heart of Dublin. Um, secondly, the world-class facilities that are available to uh, students in the College of Surgeons, laboratories, the lecture theatres, the dissection room. Uh, and thirdly, uh, was the huge alumni of, of graduates that you, you become a large family of at the end of your training that are dotted all over the world and are really friends for life. I have always wanted to study medicine and become a physician. I grew up in a smaller community and saw the inequities in access to healthcare and felt that I wanted to be a part of advocating for change within these types of communities. I decided to study medicine in Ireland because I have Irish heritage myself. My grandfather is from Belfast, and so I thought studying here would help me connect with my roots. I wanted to study at RCSI specifically because I had heard about how well they prepared North American students for success in obtaining competitive residency positions, both in Canada and the US. I chose medicine in RCSI since it's a, RCSI is well known for its world-class standard of healthcare education. It has over 20,000 of students working in about 70 countries, which means that you have an invaluable networking system both as the current students and the alumni. RCSI is also well known for its um, quality student services that will help you at your difficult times. But most importantly, I chose medicine in RCSI. Uh, because it's situated into the green heart of Ireland, into uh, Dublin, a place where uh, you get to do a lot and travel a lot, so take advantage. The memories I made at RCSI would be nothing without the friendships I formed over those four years. My fondest memory includes the pediatric teddy bear hospital, where we fixed up many teddy bears and helped allay childhood fears of hospitals. As president of the Biologic Society, we also helped to shed light on important public health issues, including childhood disabilities in Ireland and primary care for the homeless population. The things I enjoyed most in RCSI uh, were firstly the, um, the anatomy teaching sessions and the card signings in the dis dissection room on a Friday morning, the ability to be taught and educated by uh, retired consultant surgeons who have over 30, 40 years of experience was a unique feature of the College of Surgeons and is something that is really envious of many other medical schools all over the world. Um, also, the boards and society groups through the College of Surgeons are extremely diverse, extremely engaging and supportive of students throughout their time in the College of Surgeons. One of the things that I enjoyed most about my time at RCSI was being involved in clubs and different societies through the college. One that I was involved in throughout the whole time I was at RCSI was ICAMS, the International Conference for Healthcare and Medical Students. This is an international healthcare research conference where students from around the world travel to Dublin to present their research, participate in hands-on workshops, listen to lectures and keynote speakers. And then of course we had a pretty fun social program as well that showed off the nightlife and the fun of Dublin. I'd say what I enjoyed most about RCSI was the sense of community. It's a very small college and because everyone is in a similar field, everyone is studying a healthcare course, 
everyone has a lot of similar experiences. And so you get to know almost everyone in the college or a large proportion of the people in the college. And because you're sharing a lot of experiences with them, you really bond together. And something really nice about RCSI is if you walk through the library or through the main campus buildings at any time, really on any day, there'll always be someone you know who you can just sit down with, have a chat for a few minutes and catch up with. And you'll always have something to talk about, which I think is really, really nice. And is not something that you get in a lot of other colleges. RCSI has been always an integral part of life whereby I nurtured as a, as a student. I will never forget the uh, old campus situated at 123 St. Stephen's Green, the almighty of Flanagan Lecture Hall with 300 students from all over the world on day one of my, um, my college. Um, I got to do a lot, to meet lots of friends, but most importantly, getting to um, have friends from all over the world is uh, such a value. In my opinion, this unique culture of RCSI encompassing different nationalities is uh, one of the advantages that I really enjoyed um, as a student, the Royal College of Surgeons. RCSI is quite diverse in the quality of education provided and also the quality of its students. RCSI definitely prepared me for my future career and residency. From day one, I was confident I was able to diagnose a sick patient, to perform a physical exam and compose a management plan. My professors always taught me to think on my feet, a skill I am grateful for every day. The way the College of Surgeons prepared me for my career goes over quite a long time. I'm now affiliated to the College of Surgeons for nearly 18 years, uh, initially through undergraduate medical school, and uh, then through surgical postgraduate surgical training uh, in college surgeons and also through the postgraduate research phd program so i hope i have a very good and strong relationship with the college surgeons over many years um, i certainly wouldn't be in the positions i'm in now without the support and training and teaching that i received during my many years in the college RCSI prepared me for my future career in a number of ways, but one of the most memorable experiences was getting to participate in the simulation lab. Through there, I got to practice some emergency and acute medicine skills in real life scenarios, and it really felt like you were right there with the patient, but it also was a really safe environment to get to practice those skills. RCSI prepared me for my career really, really well. Um, throughout the whole course in RCSI, there's a real emphasis on clinical skills and on making everything clinically focused. And there's a real push in RCSI to get students involved in research. Both of these are very important. I think as a young doctor starting out my career, I could see how much easier it was for people who'd gone to RCSI that they knew practical procedures, they had been on wards, they had been doing cannulas, they'd been taking blood, they'd been talking to patients, they'd been talking to nurses. That's one of the hardest transitions to make when you're starting out as a doctor. And where CSI guide you the whole way because the things you're doing as a doctor are the same things you're doing as a medical student. Then where CSI have so many opportunities for students to get involved in research and they have grants and they have lots of PIs who are happy to take on undergraduate students. This really gives you an edge in applications and in interviews for the rest of your career. If you start out your research career early, then that will always stand to you no matter how many years later it is. RCSI has really taught me to be a very structured doctor and to focus on the patient as a whole. But most importantly, RCSI has really boosted my, um, my application into the residency program. Um, please um, like try and uh, take advantage of the um, academic counselor whereby you can sit on one-to-one -one basis and discuss uh, your future goals. It will also help you into enhancing your CV and um, ensuring that uh, you are matched into a res residency program that, uh, of your liking. Currently, I'm a PGY3 in my final year of internal medicine residency at the Mount Sinai Hospital in New York City. I'm applying for a fellowship in gastroenterology and hope to specialize in inflammatory bowel disease. Uh, currently, I am the uh, UK's first Royal College of Surgeons of England approved Neurotrauma Fellow at the Major Trauma Centre in the Royal London Hospital. Uh, last year, I was the Neuro-Oncology and skull Base Fellow at the University of Toronto. Currently, I am one week away from starting my residency back here in BC. 
I matched to my top choice program at the University of British Columbia in a rural family medicine residency at the site Rural Okanagan, which is only 45 minutes from where I grew up. So I'm really excited to finally be home. I've done a year now as an intern in Beaumont Hospital in Dublin, which is RCSI's main teaching hospital. And I'm going to continue on as a trainee in internal medicine next year. I'm currently an internal medicine resident at the Cleveland Clinic Abu Dhabi. I know this road may seem daunting, but it is absolutely worth it. Every patient story matters. And every life you have improved by a kind word or an improved social situation is a good day. Remember that your words are powerful and they matter. We are here as your RCSI family to back you up from the sidelines. My advice for new students starting College of Surgeons is to embrace the uh, year, the many happy years you're going to have in the college. Um, you're extremely fortunate to be in an environment that thrives and breeds success and excellence and leadership in medicine and surgery and in really what is world-class facilities uh, and to enjoy it, work as a team and you will get the results at the end of the day. I suggest enjoy the ride. It goes by so quickly and it can be really easy to kind of focus in on what the mundane task at hand is or what is most stressful at this time and forget about the greater picture and forget that you're pretty lucky that you get to live in Dublin if you're coming from abroad and that you get to study in a wonderful country. My other piece of advice would be to trust yourself. You've made it this far in your journey for a reason. And sometimes it can be really easy to get overwhelmed by looking at how accomplished and incredible your fellow classmates and colleagues are gonna be. But you deserve to be in the position that you are and you will succeed as well. So just trust yourself and know that you're going to be just fine. See, uh, medicine is quite rewarding. It's eye-opening, but simultaneously challenging. Um, remember that um, life is quite short. I mean, uh, some people wrote books about life and other came up with uh, philosophical metaphors to describe it. But the way I look at it is very simple. It's just going back to the basics, back to the alphabets. Um, B to D, as I always say. B for birth, D for death. But that, let us see, that's the star. That's the one that people need to focus on. So focus on your uh, C in your life, which means your chances focus on the choices that you make, implement some changes in your life, but most importantly, be committed into the vision that you have um, implemented into yourself and face the challenges and make sure you reach that vision.